Hello students, myself Jay Megrajani and today I'm going to assist you to check your geometry paper. Today's paper was a combination of chapter number 1 and 2 and the total paper was for 20 marks. Let us start with the first question. Choose the correct alternatives. If point M is the midpoint of segment AB, segment AB is equal to 8 units, then find AM. Now students in multiple choice questions, as per the boards for algebra geometry, you just need to write the answers. So students, we know that midpoint always divide a segment into two equal parts. So if AB is 8 and M is midpoint of AB, so AM will be half of 8, that is 4 units. So the correct option is option number C, 4 units. So if you have written the correct answer, you will get 1 marks. Second question, two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal. If measure of one of the corresponding angle is 60 degree, then what is the measure of the other angle? Now students, we know lines are parallel and we have a transversal. So whenever lines are parallel and we have a transversal, corresponding angles are always congruent, okay? By corresponding angle theorem. So if one angle is 60, its corresponding angle will also be 60. So the correct option is option number B, that is 60 degree. If you have written correct answer, you will get another one mark. Question number two, solve any one. And this is for one marks. You are given with two questions, you have to solve any one. If the coordinate of point A is X and that of B is Y, find distance of AB when X is equal to 1 and Y is equal to 7. Now students, we are given that the coordinate of point A is X. X ka value kitna we have 1. That means the coordinate of A is 1. And similarly, the coordinate of B is 7. We are supposed to find distance of AB. The formula to find distance is greater coordinate minus smaller coordinate. If you have written the correct formula, you will get half marks. Substitution will be greater coordinate minus smaller coordinate. So 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1 is 6 unit. So distance of AB is equal to 6 unit. If your final answer is also correct, you will get another half marks. Okay. Question number 2. Write the following statement in if and then form. The opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Now student, we are supposed to make this statement as a conditional statement. Conditional statement means you have to add the word if and then. So the statement will be if the quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then opposite angles are congruent. If you have written correct statement, you can give yourself as one mark. We move on to the next question. Question number three. Solve any two out of three, which is for four marks. We start with the first one. In the adjoining figure, line RP is parallel to MS and DK is the transversal. Measure angle DHP is given as 85 degree. We are supposed to find two angles. First is RHD and second is MGK. Now students look at the figure. DHP and RHD, these two angles are forming linear pair. So their sum will be 180 degree. So I have written measure angle DHP plus measure angle RHD is equal to 180 degree. Reason will be linear pair. DHP is given as 85 plus 85 goes on that side becomes minus. So 180 minus 85 gives you 95. If you have got correct answer of RHD, you get one marks. Now students RHG and DHP, these are vertically opposite angles. So DHP is 85 degree. Measure angle RHG will also be 85 degree. And we are supposed to find next angle that is MGK. Look at the figure students. What do we know about line RP and MS? They both are tra parallel and DK is the transversal. So look at angle RHG and look at angle MGK. These two angles are forming pair of corresponding angles. Lines are parallel, so corresponding angles will be congruent. RHG was 85 degrees, so measure angle MGK will also be 85 degrees. Students, if you have done by some other method, okay, if you have done by some other method and you have got correct answers, still you will get full marks, okay? So if your entire sum is correct, you will be getting two marks. Question number two. Find which of the point is between in other two. If the points are non-collinear, state so. Distance between point R and S is given as 8 units. Distance between point S and T is given as 3 units. And distance between R and T is given as 5 units. 
So students, we need to check whether the points are collinear or not. If the points are collinear, which point will come between other two? Okay. So student, first step, you are going to add the two smaller distance. That is distance between S and T plus distance of R T. That is three plus five. That is eight. We mark this as result number one. Distance between R S is equal to eight. It's already given. We mark this as result number two. Compare result number one and two. Right hand sides are equal. If right hand sides are equal, then left hand sides are also equal by property of transitivity. So we get distance of S T plus distance of R T is equal to distance of R S. Since the distances are equal, we say point R, S, and T are collinear, and the relation of betweenness will be R dash T dash S. That means T will lie between R and S. Students, if you have done the sum correctly, you will get two marks. If you have written that T lies between point R and S, then also it is correct. But if you have not written betweenness, so you will be just getting one marks. Okay. Question number three: If A is congruent to angle B, angle X is congruent to angle Y, then prove that line L is parallel to line M. Okay, we start with the proof. Angle A is congruent to angle B. That's already given. So you get line L is parallel to line M. Reason will be corresponding angle test. Corresponding angles are congruent, so lines will be parallel. Next thing, measure angle X is congruent to measure angle Y. X and Y are congruent, and that is already given. X and Y forms a pair of alternate angles. Alternate angles are congruent, so corresponding lines will be parallel. So we get line M is parallel to line N. Compare result number one and two, students. By transitivity, we get line L is parallel to line N from result number one and two. If your entire proof is correct, you will be getting another two marks. Question number four: Solve the following. Any three out of four, which is for nine marks, means each sum is for three marks. Okay, students, we have to prove that angle ABC is congruent to angle FDE. So for the proof, first we take line AB is parallel to line CF. On transversal BC, angle ABC is congruent to angle PCD. Reason will be alternate angles theorem, and we mark this as result number one. If you have done correctly till here, if your these three steps are correct, give yourself as one mark. Next, line BC is parallel to line ED. On transversal CF, angle FDE is congruent to angle BCD. Reason will be corresponding angles theorem. We mark this as result number two. If your these three steps are correct, you get another one mark. Okay. Now, students, compare result number one and two. What do we observe? Right hand sides are equal. If right hand sides are equal, then left hand sides are also equal from one and two. If your final step is correct, you get another one mark. So the total sum will be for three marks. Okay. Next question, student. I will just help you out with the marks. If you have denoted the angles with Correct variables, okay. If you have denoted angles with correct variables, you will be getting half marks. Then we have used angle addition property. For that, you will be getting another half marks. Next, ray PR is parallel to ray QS on transversal PQ. We have pair of alternate angles. So if you have done this step correctly, you get another one marks, okay. I hope all the students have checked your sum till here. Okay. And if your final answer is correct, if your final answer is correct, you get another one mark. So you get another one mark. So total, this sum will be for three marks. So I hope everyone has checked this sum. Okay. Next sum, students. We are supposed to check whether AC and BD are congruent or not. 
so student first we need to find distance of ac we are going to use the formula of, of distance that is greater coordinate minus smaller coordinate so the distance of ac will be 5 units that is length of ac is 5 units if you have got this correct answer you get 1 marks next we are supposed to find distance of bd okay so we are again going to use the formula of distance that is greater coordinate minus smaller coordinate so we get distance of bd as 5 units that is length of bd as 5 units if you have done this step correct you get another one marks now students you need to compare result number 1 and 2 what do we observe length of ac is 5 units length of bd is also 5 units that means we have ac and bd to have equal length since their lengths are equal segment is congruent from 1 and 2 if your final answer is correct you get another one marks so if your entire sum is correct you will be getting three marks okay students we start with the most important theorem prove that if two lines intersect each other then vertically opposite angles are congruent since it's a theorem we need to prove a statement please make sure students you have drawn the figure figure will have half marks given will have another half marks two proof will have half marks and your entire proof will have one and a half marks so please check your entire thing given line a b and c d intersect each other at point p if you have taken some other alphabets that's absolutely okay we have to prove angle a p c is congruent to angle b p d first proof second we have to prove angle a p d is congruent to angle b p c in proof first we are going to use linear pair again we are going to use linear pair we observe result number 1 and 2 right hand sides are equal so left hand sides are also equal a p d a p d gets cancelled so we get angle a p c is congruent to angle b p d We have got our first proof. जैसे आपने first proof किया, similarly angle APD is congruent to angle BPC. You don't need to do again. You can write the words similarly. Okay. I hope everyone have given yourself the correct marks as for the distribution. Last question, question number five. Prove that the sum of measures of all angle of a triangle is one eighty degree. Now, students, again, it's a theorem where you are given with a statement and you need to prove the statement. So, first thing we draw the figure. So, if your figure is correct, you will be getting half marks. If your given is correct, you will be getting another half marks. Check your two proof, you will be getting another half marks. And for construction. will be getting half marks so if you have written if you have drawn the figure properly written given to prove and construction everything properly you will be getting half half marks for each step now students we start with the proof line de is parallel to bc reason will be construction on transversal ab we got angle dab is congruent to angle abc reason will be alternate angles theorem if you have done this step correctly you get another half marks same way on transversal ac angle eac is congruent to angle acb again the reason will be alternate angles so if you have done this step correct you get another half marks okay next students we observe this with two proof we want abc plus angle acb so what we are going to do we are going to add result number 1 and 2 and after adding we find that angle bac is missing so we are going to add angle bac on both the sides So if you have done the steps correctly till here, you get another half marks. And then students, we are going to use angle sum property and linear pair, and then we are going to get that the sum of measures of all angle of a triangle is 180 degree. So if your entire proof is correct, you get entire four marks. If you have not written the last part or if you have missed few steps, your marks will be deducted. Okay. Thank you, everyone. That's what we were doing. That was evaluation of a geometry paper. whatever mistakes you have done please refer robomet and clear all your mistakes any sums which you have not done of you have went wrong please refer robomet and write the correct solution in your notebook 
so that we don't repeat the same mistakes in our exams okay thank you everyone have a great day